At the 49th Annual People's Choice Awards, Billie Eilish emerged victorious, taking home a trophy for her first-ever acting performance. The TV Performance of the Year Award went to the Bad Guy Singer, who was recently awarded at the Santa Barbara International Film Festival for her work in the Swarm series. In the Prime miniseries, the 22-year-old actress played cult leader Eva, which put her up against big names like Meryl Streep, A.O. Edebairi, and John Hamm. In her awards speech, Eilish exclaimed, Wow, that was crazy to see. Seeing all those names and then mine, and I'm here, was so crazy. I want to express my gratitude, luck, and honor for being the fan-voted winner. I really appreciate it. She acknowledged her co-workers on the production, including actor Dominique Fishback and the show's creators, Donald Glover and Janine Neighbors. I would like to express my gratitude to Donald Glover for inspiring me throughout my life and helping me become the artist I am today, Eilish said. She went on. That show is all about Dominique Fishback, so I want to dedicate this to her. And she did an absolutely fantastic job with it. I learned everything I know from her. I owe that entire experience to her. I don't deserve this as much as she does. She should be in every movie ever made since she is amazing, gorgeous, and talented. She thanked the audience for their votes, and her mother for being her acting instructor, as she concluded her speech. When Swarm debuted in the first half of last year, Fishback received praise and was nominated for an Emmy for her remarkable performance. The plot centers on Dre, Fishback, an ardent fan who would stop at nothing to preserve her favorite pop star's reputation, even if it means going to deadly lengths. Eva was depicted by Eilish as a cunning cult leader who ensnared Dre in the name of female empowerment within a group of only women. As a worldwide pop artist who has personally encountered toxic fandom, Billy has previously stated that the show's examination of this topic spoke to her. She said to Variety in June 2023, That fan passion is so real, and it's so beautiful, but it's also really scary. And in my opinion, the program is a metaphor for this power and the way that people actually live in delusions like, She's going to see me and we're going to be best friends. The power of fans is immense, and it's possible that they are unaware of their own might. Before the chance to work with Swarm presented itself, the Oscar winner said she had always wanted to give acting a go. She first repressed the desire because she thought she was really bad at acting, even though both of her parents, Maggie Baird and Patrick O'Connell, were performers, according to Variety. She didn't change her mind and welcomed the opportunity to pursue acting until Glover personally approached her about the Eva role. At the People's Choice Awards, where Barbie and Oppenheimer, a.k.a. Barbenheimer, had the most nominations in the film categories, Eilish's win came as a pleasant surprise. With nine nominations overall, seven for each of the two major actors, the film starring Margot Robbie and Ryan Reynolds is the most nominated. Concurrently, the Christopher Nolan-directed Oppenheimer comes in second with six, which includes Florence Pugh and Killian Murphy's honors. Taylor Swift leads all performers with five nominations, two weeks after smashing all previous records during the Grammy Awards. She received nominations in a number of categories, including music, social media presence, and even the concert video for the year's tour, which became an enormous hit worldwide at the box office. Nicki Minaj, a rapper, and Luke Combs and Morgan Wallen, two country performers, also received five nominations, placing Taylor in fascinating company. In terms of television, only Murders in the Building received the most nominations, with Steve Martin, Meryl Streep, and Selena Gomez all receiving honors. In the category for Reality Show of the Year, Vanderpump Rules is expected to be the frontrunner following the Scandoval incident, but it will have fierce opposition from Hulu's The Kardashians. This makes the race particularly interesting. Star of the Marvel Cinematic Universe Simu Liu, best known for his performances in Marvel's Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings and the sitcom Kim's Convenience, will MC the event. He played a number of Kens in the previously stated $1.4 billion blockbuster Barbie. It's not about slandering anyone. 
the 34-year-old Chinese-Canadian actor told USA Today, addressing the hot topic of hosting during award season. It has nothing to do with pulling the worst joke you can get away with. Being the one to put down other individuals is not the point. Major presenters at the event will also include performers Kane Brown and Victoria Monet. Lenny Kravitz, Kylie Minogue, and Lainey Wilson are scheduled to perform on the show as well. The 2024 People's Choice Awards ceremony will be shown live for two hours on NBC and E. On Sunday, February 18th, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Peacock offers the show for streaming as well.